House Bill number 790 by Representative Campfield. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the committee, what this bill does is limits the naming of roads and public structures to uh, people who are no longer in the legislature. You heard an explanation of the bill? Is there a motion? Excuse me. I, we need to get a motion and a second properly before we can discuss the bill. Have a motion and a second. Now we discuss it, Representative Schrader. Uh, why? To keep people from who are currently in the legislature from naming everything they can name after themselves. Okay. We had a. Uh, it, it is. It's an additional expense, also, uh, and I think it's an unfair advantage to for people who are currently in the legislature. Representative Pruitt. Uh, this only applies to uh, state government, is that right? That's correct. Now we're, we, well, we'd we, be voting on stuff for ourselves, yes. We would not be allowed to vote to name structures after ourselves, yes. Now, would you accept an amendment if it goes beyond that to local government, too? I would hope not. No, I wouldn't, no. Uh, local government, I mean, would I'm you, sure I mean, I want to support your bill. Yes. But... You know, we have a local government, too, and they are naming things after. If the local government division. chooses to do such, uh, that, that's up to them. Thank you. And I'd be in favor of them doing it at that level. Chairman Jones. Well, I mean, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, isn't it? I mean, if, if uh, local government is doing it, shouldn't they be in this also? I'm not, uh, I mean, if you would like to amend the bill to do that, uh, I would have I'd like no to amend the bill to include local government. All local government. We got an amendment and a second to amend it to apply to all local governments. Any discussion on the amendment? Ready to vote on the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment, number one, let it be known saying aye. Opposed? You want to speak on the amendment? No, I oppose the, the amendment. The reason I oppose it is because uh, when my husband was in the General Assembly, of course, he had passed to be named the Library of Library Metro after him. They happened to include my name on it because I was the person who raised the money and did all that. And so that's why I was against what local government done. What th that, that was my contention on that. Just and point of clarification, Representative Fruit, if I might, I, I think the motion is uh, if they're Excuse me, Representative Jones. Excuse me, Chairman Jones. Um, your motion is it if there are municipal em elected or municipal em uh, uh, officials? Is that what the intent was? And and I would assume that you were not an elected official of a municipality at that time. So I would assume that that would not apply to her, Sally. I think I need a point of clarification. My understanding of your motion would have been that a local government member could not name a building after him or herself while she also was a member. Not that a local government could not name a building after someone in the state, nor the state name someone after local. Is that correct? Uh, that was my understanding that of the motion. I just wanted to clarify that. So, Any other discussion on the amendment? On the amendment. You ready to vote on the amendment? All those... Ready to vote on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment, number one, let me know. I'm saying aye. Opposed? I have it back on the motion. I have a couple of people who want to speak on the motion. Representative Dean, you recognize? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Campfield, is, has this been a problem? Uh, are there a lot of examples out there where? There are examples, yes. No, I don't I, 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 not to I understand. Names, I understand. I, have been examples. I just I haven't recalled any, so I, I'll get with you after. Uh, thank you. Representative Rinks, you're recognized. Are we, are we talking about governors, too? I would have no problem with that. I'm not sure if they're covered. I don't believe. I'm not sure if they're covered. What about lieutenant governors? I would have no problem with that. Lieutenant I mean, governors, I would assume it would I'm cover lieutenant, lieutenant governors. Lieutenant governors, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is covered, yes, because they are a member of the legislature. But it wouldn't cover governors. If you'd like to amend it to adding governors, too, I have no problem with that. Well, I mean, I... I mean, this is not something my constituents have called me about that they've got a big problem with, but, you know, uh, if you do not I don't, you. has this been a, I mean, you getting a lot of phone calls about this? I wouldn't say no. But 
So it's something we got to deal with because you've got no phone calls on this. Is that what we're talking about? I think it's something that's important. Uh, well, I don't, but I mean. <laughs> well, that's your your choice. I mean, that's fine. Chairman Jones, you recognize. How many buildings do you know that's been named after sitting legislators? I can name a few. Okay. Do you really want me? To, well, I could say Jimmy Nafee had a building named after himself last year. It cost us about $5,000 to put up a plaque. I believe Lieutenant Governor Wilder had uh, buildings named after himself as well uh, to about the same note and cost us financially and cost our constituents financial, financially. Uh, I have no problem with them naming buildings after people that are no longer legislators, but it sounds a little self-serving to me. Okay, but that's two. You got some more. And, and I, I mean, can probably this. bring you more examples if you so choose. Okay. And it's, it's been a real problem that your constituents are that concerned. Well, I think the financial side of it is the side that I'm just looking more toward, that this is money that could be going to help education and health care and things along those lines. Representative West, you're recognized. Could I be recognized for a motion, please? Been on your motion. Your motion is in order. If it's an amendment, yes. If it's been on your motion, whether it be in order or not, so. Motion to adjourn was always in order. <laughs> so hopefully you're not going to adjourn us. Well, I, my motion would be to move this particular bill to July the 4th in the Courthouse Square in Savannah, Tennessee. That is a legal motion. It is a time. It is a place. It is a legal motion. That's my motion. It's been seconded. Will it be voted on then? That would be a proper motion. Um, What's what I say? It is a proper motion. It's properly for you. It does have a proper second. Any discussion on that motion? I have a question on the motion. Would that be sure. a motion to have the bill voted on at that time? I'm sorry? Would that be a motion to have the bill voted on at that time? Yes. What if there's not a quorum at that time? Couldn't meet for lack of a quorum. Any other discussion? You ready to vote? All those in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Can I ask for a roll call vote on that? Too late to ask for a roll call now. All right. Representative West, for the record, would you repeat that motion, oh, please? July the, 4th. July the 4th, 12 o'clock, at the courthouse on the square in Savannah, Tennessee. 2007. <laughs> per diem to be collected. <laughs> this year. July 4th, 2007, this year. Thank you. Representative Campfield, you recognize on House Bill number 794. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What this bill does is tells the um, yes, let me excuse me. Tells the Commissioner of General Services to heat the parking garage at a level no greater than what is necessary for to keep the potential systems from freezing, components and systems from freezing. More or less, it turns down the heat in the parking garage, so we're not wasting money on a parking garage with the doors wide open in wintertime. Okay, you've heard of the explanation of uh, House Bill number 794. Do we have a motion? No motion. Bill dies for lack of a motion. You recognize on House Bill number 979. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What this bill does is implements term limits to 12 years, and uh, it would not affect legislators who have set already 12 years. It would not start the counting of the 12 years until after this next session. You've heard the explanation of the bill. Do we have a motion on the bill? You got a motion on the bill. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? No second. The bill dies for lack of a second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the committee. 